take a spin down memory lane and groove back into the summer of 87 with the sensational cast of Dirty Dancing. We're bringing the corners of nostalgia and fun together, unraveling the vibrant lives of Baby, Johnny, and the rest of Kellerman's crew. Did you know Jennifer Grey was almost 30 when she played our beloved 17-year-old baby? Or that Cynthia Rhodes left Hollywood lights for family life? Kick off your dancing shoes and let's dive into the then and now of this iconic ensemble. Jerry Orbach played the character of Dr. Jake Hausman. Born on October 20th, 1935, he was 51 years old during the filming of Dirty Dancing, and he passed away at the age of 69 on December 28, 2004, due to prostate cancer. Jerry had a prolific career in film and television, but he is perhaps best remembered for his long-running role as Detective Lenny Briscoe in Law & Order. That was a stupid thing to ask. Forgive me. I'll have it for you before dinner. Is everything all right? Fine. Thanks. Jack Weston played the part of Max Kellerman. Born on August 21st, 1924, he was 63 years old during Dirty Dancing's production. Jack passed away on May 3rd, 1996, at the age of 71 due to lymphoma. His career spanned over four decades with memorable roles in The Cincinnati Kid and Wait Until Dark. I got an eyewitness and the kid has no alibi. Come on, Neil. You learn what it's like to fire an employee. No, Mr. Mr. Kelman, wait a minute. Cynthia Rhodes brought to life the character of Penny Johnson. Born on November 21st, 1956, she was 30 years old in 1987 and is currently 67 years old. Cynthia is known for her roles in Flashdance, Staying Alive, and Runaway. Interestingly, she retired from acting in the early 90s to focus on her family after marrying singer Richard Marks. You're a wonderful dancer. Yeah, well, my mother kicked me out when I was 16. I've been dancing ever since. It's the only thing I ever wanted to do anyway. I envy you. Jane Brucker portrayed Lisa Hausman, Baby's sister. She was born on May 14, 1958, making her 29 years old in 1987, and she is now 65 years old. While Jane's acting career was quieter post-Dirty Dancing, she has continued to work in the industry, focusing on screenwriting. Kelly Bishop played Marjorie Hausman, Baby's mother. Born on February 28, 1944, she was 43 years old during the filming, and she is now 79 years old. Kelly is well known for her role as Emily Gilmore in Gilmore Girls and has had a successful career in both film and television. It's his first real vacation in six years, Max. Take it easy. Three weeks here, it'll feel like a year. If you are enjoying the video so far, then hit that subscribe button for straight facts and no clickbait shenanigans. We lift you up with pure information, just like that iconic dance lift. Lonnie Price took on the role of Neil Kellerman. He was born on March 9, 1959, making him 28 years old at the time of Dirty Dancing. He is currently 64 years old. Lonnie has continued his career in the arts, becoming a respected director and actor, especially in the theater community. Elements we come together, singing all as one. We have shared another season's talent, play, and fun. Max Cantor played Robbie Gould. Born on May 15, 1959, he was 28 years old during the filming of Dirty Dancing. Max sadly passed away on October 3, 1991, at the age of 32 due to a heroin overdose. He had roles in a few other films and TV shows, but his life and career were cut tragically short. You can't just leave her. I didn't I mean... blow a summer hauling toasted bagels just to bail out some little chick to probably ball every guy in the place. A little precision, please. Jennifer Grey took on the role of Francis Baby Houseman, 
Born on March 26, 1960, she was 27 years old at the time of filming and is 63 years old today. Jennifer is also well known for her role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Despite a decreased visibility in Hollywood following a nose job that altered her iconic look, she has continued acting in various TV shows and movies. No, I'm doing, I'm, don't look at my feet, keep my head up, my eyes open, tension in my arms, my frame locks, he pulled up. Thanks, baby. Charles Honey Coles took on the role of Tito Suarez. Born on April 2nd, 1911, he was 76 years old when Dirty Dancing was released. Honey passed away on November 12th, 1992, at the age of 81. He was a legendary tap dancer and had a significant impact on the world of dance. Hey, last one? Who's that to do? Greg Mist. You and me, Tito, we've seen it all, huh? Lots of changes, though, Max. Lots of changes. It's not the changes. Neil Jones played Billy Kostecki. Born on January 2, 1960, he was 27 years old during the production of Dirty Dancing. Neil is currently 63 years old. Neil has had a steady career in acting, appearing in numerous TV shows and films, often in supporting or guest roles. Where did you learn to do that? Where? I don't know. Kids are doing it in the basements back home. Wayne Knight played the character of Stan. Born on August 7, 1955, he was 32 years old at the time of filming and is currently 68 years old. Wayne is widely recognized for his role as Newman in Seinfeld and has had a prolific career in both film and television. Never being such a good sport, here you go! Oh. <laughs> Miranda Garrison portrayed Vivian Pressman. Born in 1950, she was 37 years old at the time of filming and is currently 73 years old. Miranda is a dancer and choreographer, and she served as the assistant choreographer for the film in addition to her on-screen role. This is our last night together, lover. I've got something worked out for us. Patrick Swayze played the iconic role of Johnny Castle. Born on August 18, 1952, he was 35 years old when Dirty Dancing was released. Unfortunately, Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57 due to pancreatic cancer. Beyond Dirty Dancing, Patrick was renowned for his roles in Ghost, Point Break, and Roadhouse. He was also a skilled dancer, a passion that clearly shone through in his performance as Johnny. Somebody who's taught me that there are people willing to stand up for other people no matter what it costs them. Somebody who's taught me about the kind of person I want to be. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Patrick Swayze movie? Drop a comment below and let's keep the nostalgia going.